Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and my YouTube channel is called The Planting Bug. And in today's video, I am going to be bringing you a summer 2021 houseplant tour. So this houseplant tour is just going to be the main living area of my house because I do have 70 plus plants and the videos just take too long when I do house tours. So I'm just focusing on this main living room of my house, the entryway, the living room area, which is where I have the bulk of my plants. So let's go ahead and get started with this summer 2021 houseplant tour. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start over here in this corner. Um, I wanted to start out first with my bird of paradise. This is the first plant I ever bought and that was close to three years ago. And I have it here just sitting in the corner. We are looking to maybe move this somewhere else in the house, but it's so big, it's really hard to find a place. But this plant has done really well. Um, I wanna just make you pay attention to this leaf right here. If I can show it to you, it's very big and I just love it. Um, but really exciting right now is I've got two new little spears coming out. There is one right here as you can see, and then another one right here. So two new ones, we'll see how big they are. Uh, but this is my bird of paradise. Then coming over here, this is my Chinese money plant, which is doing really good. This is the mother plant. As you can see, she is very large. I have propagated her many times and given her as gifts for people. Then bringing you back behind my bird of paradise, this is a snake plant. This is a moonshine snake plant, which I absolutely love. I love the coloring of the green foliage. Very thick, very easy to take care of. A definite um, first time owner plant. It's a very easy care plant. And now moving on from this corner, let's head on over to the corner over here where it starts with my fiddle leaf fig. Um, this was another plant that I got pretty early on in my journey. I almost killed it, um, but ever since it has been, been doing just fine. So this fiddle leaf fig, I have found that it is good to not move it around a whole lot. It likes being around other plants. Um, and you kind of want to be a little bit rough with it to make it strong, make those uh, branches strong. Um, but right now I've just got this one sitting by the window where, you know, air comes in and pushes it around, um, kind of simulates where it originally grows and it is doing really well. I cannot wait until it turns into a tall tree. Um, but yeah, that is my fiddly fig. Now moving back here, this is my for the most part, calathea. I've had some issues with some of my calatheas lately. Um, maybe I'll get into that later, but let's go ahead and move over here. This is a Maranta. This is the red vein. It is gorgeous. I love it. I want to get a lemon lime one, um, but I have not yet. This is a, in the prayer plant family. You'll notice throughout the day that this will either droop or it stands up. It's very um, talkative. <laughs> It uh, moves around quite a lot. It's a really neat plant. And then this here is my beloved Calathea orbifolia. This plant is just doing amazing. This is one of the newer leaves that is just really big and huge. Um, I do have a new growth on this one right here, which is exciting. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for this one to grow big. I love the watermelon looking type um, leaves. I think they look like a watermelon skin, but yeah, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Then moving down here, this is a Calathea Pensino, I believe. Uh, this plant is doing great, but it does need to be repotted. I am due to do some repotting here soon, which I will do a video on to show you how I do that. But this one is just doing great and growing. Okay, and moving down, this is my Calathea Trio Star. 
Uh, this plant is a little bit newer, but it is doing good. It's got a lot of growth happening on it. And I just think it's gorgeous. I love the pink variegation on the leaves. I mean, look at that. The undertone of the leaves are just this bright pink color. The stems are pink. This plant is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm happy it's doing well. And it is also one of my favorites. And moving down, this is a Peperomia green. It's also known as a baby rubber tree plant. It is kind of similar to a succulent, really thick, hardy leaves. This plant needs to be dusted for sure. But yeah, this one is just really cute and adorable and really, really easy to care for. So this is another plant that I would recommend for beginners to get. Now moving over here to my rattlesnake plant. This plant is just gorgeous. Again, this is in the prayer plant family. You will see the leaves lift up and down throughout the day. Usually at nighttime it lifts up. But if you look at the leaves here, they are just striking. I absolutely love this plant and cannot wait for it to grow bigger. Now moving up here, this is my bamboo plant. In the past, these are like what you see at grocery stores, um, and I have had a really hard time in the past taking care of these. But now that I have kind of figured my method of watering, um, you know, I use a moisture meter and I only water it when it needs to, which is usually about once a week. It has really done well and is starting to grow. Okay, so moving on from my calatheas, I've got this cute little stand here to a couple of trailing plants. If you look here, I got this uh, stand, this plant stand from Amazon. I love it. I wanna get a few more throughout my house. So starting over here, this is a philodendron. It's a heart leaf philodendron uh, because the leaves are shaped like hearts. This again is another easy to care for plant, great for beginners and just look, I love how it trails down. I have heard this is really easy to propagate, but I have not propagated it yet. <laughs> and then moving here, this is called Baby Tears. Um, this is a plant that my daughter had picked out for me and it is starting to do really well. I did struggle with it at the beginning, but as you can see, it's almost to the floor here. Just a little bit longer to go. Um, and again, I just love the trailing look of these plants on this stand. Okay, and moving down here, this is a cute little peperomia plant. I believe this one is called a rosa, roso. Um, they're just delicate little tiny leaves, which again, have got this great bright pink underside to them. And I can't wait for this one to grow. Um, Again, I had issues with this at first, but I think I have figured out the watering techniques and I just think it is a cute little petite plant to put here on the bottom. And next we are going to move on where the bulk of my plants live in this room, which is these floating shelves that my husband built for me, which I love. And let's go ahead and start over here. We're gonna start up first here. This is a propagation that I did to my Monstera Deliciosa. I will show you the mother plant soon, but just take a look at the fenestrations of the leaves here. Each leaf has got these just beautiful fenestrations, which I love. And then moving down here, this is, I believe, like a lemon lime jade plant. My daughter's bought this for me for Mother's Day. I absolutely love it. I love, oh, sorry. I love the pink or reddish lines along here on the leaves. This again is a really easy care for plant for beginners. It's got a thick succulent type of a uh, plant here and uh, I just love it. Super easy to care for. All right, so this next plant is a Peperomia silver leaf. Uh, this one is just beautiful. I love the silverish kind of frosted looking leaves. We've got these little growths that have gone this summer. I, I do believe that these flower, so I think that these are trying to flower here. So I hope that's the case, and I'll for sure show you guys if they do. All right, and then let's go ahead and move down here. 
This one back here is my Albo Variegata Syngodium. This is a really unique plant. This here is its newest growth. It's kind of unfurling right now. I love how none of the leaves look the same. As you can see, they've got really neat variegation. There's off-white, there's white in there. Some are a little bit more green with a little bit of speckles. And like, just look at the variegation on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then moving on to this next plant. This is one of my newer plants. I just got some plants in from Bloomscape and I'm so happy with them. This is a philodendron, a lemon lime philodendron. So similar to this heart leaf of philodendron. This one here is a lemon lime and this will trail as well. So this is just a newer one, but I just love the lighter green leaves on this. Just gorgeous. All right, and with this being a summer house tour, I have added some little pops of yellow throughout. Um, this here is just a, a yellow candle. I think it just um, gives it a nice summer feel. And then moving on over here to my beloved, probably favorite plant of all time. This is my Philodendron Birkin. Look at this gorgeous plant. I mean, she is amazing. She's got some really neat variegation. This one here has got just one little solid um, thing of green, but for the most part, they're all got this white variegation. When they're newer, the leaves are a lighter color. They almost come out white. Um, and then as they age, they turn into this darker green. It's really neat to fill the leaves because the white veins stick out. But this plant is producing so much growth. As you can see here, this is what the new growths look like. And they're all over. You've got one here, one here, one down here. There's one right here. This one's opening up. There's another one back here opening up. It is just crazy. Um, but this is one I've been doing research on how to propagate. I'm really scared to propagate it because I'm in love with it. And I don't want to mess it up, but I am going, I promise, to bring a video soon on how to propagate it. And then speaking of propagation, this is my uh, Anacampsaros sunrise plant. Here is the mother plant of that. I absolutely love this plant. I believe it's from South Africa. This is a succulent, a great beginner plant as well. I love the little pink pops that you see every once in a while. Um, but I pulled a pup off of this one and then I planted it. And as you can see, look at that thing taken off. It's just growing so tall. It's got a new little pup right here growing. Anyway, so this one has just been a lot of fun to watch. And then moving on here, this is my terrarium that I recently did a video on. I've got three plants in here. Uh, one is a string of pearls that was having some issues. So I've put it in here and it is doing really well, as you can see. So that string of pearl is doing really well. Here is a syngonium. I'm not sure what type of syngonium it is, but it is just so cute. I love it. And then over here is my polka dot plant, which I love as well. So those are the plants that I have right now in my terrarium. And then moving over here, this is a Chinese money plant. I showed you the mother plant here earlier. This is a propagation that I did of the mother plant and it is doing so good. It's going to be big and tall like its mom very shortly. This here is a Monstera Peru. I love this plant. I love the feel of the leaves. It reminds me of bubble wrap, um, but this one's doing good. It's going to end up growing tall where I'm probably gonna need to put like some sort of a pole in there. <laughs> You're gonna laugh right now. I've got one of my husband's golf tees, as you can see back there holding it up, just to give it some extra height <laughs> so it's not so droopy. And then moving over here, this is one of my newer plants. This is a Taniki rubber tree plant. I love this one. I can't wait for it to grow into a tall tree. Um, but this one is just gorgeous. I love the variegation in the leaves and it is doing really well. Uh, 
here are two propagations of the Chinese money plant that you just saw. Um, these are just little teeny leaves that have fallen off and you can propagate those. So that is what I'm doing here with that one and with this one. Moving up here to the top of this shelf. I've got up here in the corner, high is our Sansevieria snake plant. Uh, this plant I've had for a little while and it is doing well. I do tend to not water as much when my plants are big like this and up high, I don't know why. Something I need to work on, but it is still doing well. Uh, this here is my baby spider plant. I love this plant. I cannot wait for this to grow huge and have little baby spider pups hanging off. I just think this plant is so much fun and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Moving over here, this is my very first uh, string of pearls that I got. It was just a little, little tiny baby. And as you can see, it is growing. It's a little underneath this shelf. And again, cannot wait for this one just to get huge and full. And then back here is my very variegated jade plant. I love this plant. I love the little white variegations on the leaves. And then also you can see little pink hues on the edges of some of the leaves as well. Uh, this plant is just gorgeous and I'm really happy with it. I love jade plants. Again, a great beginner plant. Same with the, the snake plant here. This is a great beginner plant for anyone who is new to owning plants. All right, and moving down here, this is my money tree. This plant has grown so much. It's gotten very tall. I have it sitting here. Um, as you can see, it is now taller than the shelf. And I used to have it underneath here, um, but it is growing tall and well. I did have some people say that it is not good to have the braided vine on there. I'm not sure if you call it vine, but the braided branches. Um, but that's what I love about it. I was told to undo it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it right now. It is, is doing really well. And uh, I like the look of the braided branches. Okay, and moving over here to this shelf. Let's go ahead and start with this top gorgeous plant. This plant is kind of an interesting one and I've had some issues with it, but this is my Alocasia Frydeck. And this is just gorgeous. I love the velvety look of the leaves. It doesn't feel velvety, but it looks velvety. It is just striking. I love alocasias. Um, this one here is the oldest leaf. What I'm noticing is when a new leaf opens up like this one, this is the newest leaf that just opened up. And what I have noticed is if a new leaf opens up, I have the older leaf die. That's what's happening here. So I don't know if this is just a plant that I'm only gonna have like onesie twosies on. I have no idea. But right now I'm just being very careful and patient with this plant. I absolutely just love it and think it is gorgeous. And I'm sure that I'll end up with more leaves eventually. <laughs> And then moving over here to my ZZ plant. This plant is just gorgeous. Again, a very easy plant to own. Great for beginners. This one is gorgeous. It has a new stalk coming up. So this whole new leaf is opening up. It is just gorgeous. But again, this is a plant that you could forget to water for a couple of weeks and it will be just fine. The leaves are really hardy and thick and just a gorgeous great plant to own. It, they get very big as well. And then moving down, this is my pothos. This is either a snow queen um, or a marbled pothos. I am not sure. I always get it wrong, but I do know that it is a pothos and I love it. I just got this at my grocery store. Again, I love the variegation and how all the leaves are different and unique. Um, but it is doing really well. Probably needs to be replanted. I, I've noticed that the draining, the soil drains a little too fast and the soil dries out a little too quick for my liking. So that is one that I'm gonna plan on repotting as well. And then moving down here to my aloe vera plant, this plant was just a little tiny, tiny baby and now it is growing and we do pop off these uh, stalks when they get bigger and hang over like this and we use them. 
And moving down here, this is my very first Hoya that I bought. Uh, this is a Crimson Queen post, or sorry, Crimson Queen Hoya. Um, and honestly, these are great for beginners in my opinion. I have not had any issues with this. They are a thicker, hardy leaf, and I only have to water them once every week or once every two weeks. Um, and it is just gorgeous. I love how the vines kind of take off. Eventually, I may end up hanging this one, but right now I just love how the leaves kind of delicately hang on there. And then moving down here to the last plant, this is my donkey tail plant. <laughs> this is a succulent as well. I love it. I cannot wait for this one to get big and thick and mature because they're so cool looking. Um, but I got this one very young, but it is just doing great. All right. So we'll finish up with this section and then we're going to just move on over here to my entryway. As you can see here, I've got some placed in my entryway. I'm going to go ahead and start again. This is another plant that I started off with, which was a Monstera Deliciosa. These are very easy to care for. So again, another plant that I highly recommend getting if you are a beginner plant owner. These are easy to care for, they grow quickly, and they're easy to propagate. I will be doing a video here very soon on how to propagate a Monstera from start to finish, but I'm gonna be propagating this whole thing uh, because as you can see, it's in a little tiny uh, pot, and I'm gonna just make all of these an individual plant. I love to give these plants away to friends and family for gifts. They're great housewarming gifts, they're great birthday party gifts. But this is the mother plant. Uh, I have trimmed this and propagated it so many times. It's gotten very heavy. So if you look inside here, you're gonna see that we have like little sticks and uh, whatever you call these. My husband uses these, I can't think of what they're called, but they're thicker string. Um, so we just go ahead and kind of tie it to kind of help slightly lift the plant so it is standing up and doesn't look like it's, you know, just hanging off the edge, which I like that look as well, but um, this just looks so much better. And again, an easy plant to care for. So I've got a couple here. And then let's go ahead and move on over here to this entryway table. This here is my gorgeous Alocasia poly. I love this plant. It took a long time for it to start growing and I probably need to repot it soon. This leaf here is starting to droop, which is fine. Um, once in a while I just lose leaves, but it looks okay. I just think it's heavy. But right now I've got three, four leaves. This one's just a little tiny one which leads me to believe that I do need to repot this because the growth should be a lot bigger. Um, but I'm so excited because it also has a little new growth happening right there. And then moving over here, this is a really cute little planter um, pots that my daughter bought me. I believe this was for my birthday or Christmas, um, but I just have little tiny succulents in there. Um, although this one here is just a little leaf that came off of a Chinese money plant that I decided to put in there. I thought it was cute. I've got another little baby string of pearls because I love them so much. And then this here is a, another succulent, but honestly, I have no idea what it is. My daughter bought it, but I think it's so cute. It looks like a little palm tree. And then moving up here, this is my rubber tree plant. This is just your basic rubber tree plant. Um, it's kind of got the dark green leaves. Maybe they have a little bit of a maroon color in there, um, but this one needs to be replanted as well. Like I said, I've got some plants I need to repot. Um, I am excited. I do have a new growth coming here. There's a new growth back here, but this one here grew kind of funny and funky. Um, but I do know that this plant is becoming root bound. I've checked it. So I will be repotting this one soon. So moving over here to my windowsill, this is an east facing window. Um, east facing windows are ideal for plants, they love it. But this is like a high uh, 
windowsill. And so I wanted to put stuff up here that would be easy to get to, or I didn't have to water them very often. So starting off over here, this is my Sansevieria cylindrica, I believe. It's also known as a spear orchid, um, but it is, it is in the snake plant family and it is doing really well. If you look really close, you can see a brand new plant starting in the front of it. So you've got one that fans out in the back and then another one that fans out in the front. It's just been a lot of fun to watch. And then moving on over here, I am not sure what this plant is. If any of you know, my daughter bought it. She wanted to have it down in her room, but it was not doing well. So we have moved it here to the east facing window. It's really pretty and cute. I love the lighter lime looking leaves, um, but I don't know what it is. It may be a peperomia of some sort. I just don't know. The leaves are a little bit thicker. All right, and then moving over here, um, I just recently did do a video where I showed you an unboxing that I did from Bloomscape. These first three plants here in my entryway ledge are all Hoyas. So this first one here is a Hoya Rotusta. And um, over time, this will string into longer vines. And I know right now it looks like grass. <laughs> But this is actually a really cool looking plant. I'll try to insert a picture here. And also they flower. Um, Hoyas are plants that for the most part all flower. And they also are easy to flower in your home. So uh, I know it looks a little bit funny right now like grass, but it really is a cool funky plant and I'm excited to have it in my collection. And then this next plant right here is a Hoya Macrophilia, macrophylla. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, pronounce it, but I love this plant. It reminds me a little bit of my Crimson Queen that I showed you a minute ago. Uh, again, these leaves are super hardy. Reminds me of a succulent almost. And uh, I just love how like compact it is and all the leaves right here. And if you look here, they've got these little vines that shoot out and I believe that these flower as well. Uh, but I think, you know, the vines were a little damaged in the transport and getting it here to me. But other than that, I am really super happy with this unboxing that I did. If you have not seen that yet, go check it out. It was my very first unboxing that I did and I had a lot of fun. Um, it was exciting to get a shipment in of plants and show you guys how they turned out. Okay, so this one here is a Hoya Compacta also known as Hindu rope. I've wanted this one for so long. Look how funky and cool it is. I just love the little curly leaves. Um, it's just a fun, funky plant. And uh, yeah, so those are my three most recent plants that I got from the Hoya collection by Bloomscape. Super happy with that. This plant right here is also newer to my collection. This is a bromeliad acmea. I'm not sure how to say that. I don't know too much about this. I know it is similar to a succulent with these hardy leaves. They also flower these gorgeous flowers. But this is a pup. This is a propagation that my daughter-in-law, her friend did for me. So right now I'm learning about that and taking care of it and really excited to watch this one grow as well. And coming back in here to wrap up the video, I did forgot, or I did forget to add these little plants here. These are succulents. I love this little teeny uh, pot that I have here to hold it in, the little pot set. Um, I believe this is like a flapjack succulent. It is so neat, I love it. Again, it's a succulent, easy to care for. This is a little dwarf, um, snake plant. I cannot think of the name right now. And then this here is another succulent. You can see these in almost any grocery store or garden center. Again, I don't know the name of this succulent, but I just think this is really cute. I have it sitting here on my coffee table and I love it. All right, that wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this houseplant tour summer of 2021. I will be back soon. The next video I'm going to do is bringing you some propagation 
videos because I do get a lot of questions on just how I propagate and what the process is. So I'll be bringing those videos to you soon. Have a great week ahead. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.